Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a quick video. It's actually not a new episode, uh, but uh, additional information on the previous one. A friend down under uh, pointed out that, um, yeah, although I explained where uh, each wire needed to be connected, uh, it would help if uh, there was a diagram or something like that. Um, and, and I agree with that. I actually had that in mind, but since it had been so long since the last video, um, I, I just brushed it and forgot to do it, but I did have that idea in mind. So uh, let's get started with uh, the, the option that we are currently um, doing, which is the ship register one. Uh, as you can see here, uh, once you, this is just a paint uh, schematic, sorry about that, but I think it's it's going to make it uh, visually clearer to see. So as you can see, uh, with uh, shift registers from the left uh, hand grip, we have five wires coming out, as we already mentioned. So ground, BCC, and these color codes for me means blue means uh, clock. Yellow, uh, sorry, white means uh, latch and yellow means uh, data, right? So uh, serial data out. And from the right hand grip, if you remember, and again, when using uh, shift registers, we have again the same wires for uh, the shift registers plus the two analog ones, which are represented by these green lines. So as you can see, all uh, ground and BCC are connected together and they go to ground in the in the Arduino, which is this uh, second pin from top right, and the fourth pin is BCC. Then we connect the two analogs, <coughs> excuse me, uh, two analogs from the right hand grip to A0 and A1. It really doesn't matter. You could do A3 and A2. We are going to control that uh, in the software, but whatever. So uh, we are going to be using these four, and it doesn't matter actually the order. And then we connect uh, clocks together. So clocks from both shift registers can be together in the same pin and actually have to be together in the same pin because it needs to be pin 15. And this is because with shift, regist shift registers, uh, the software we are going to use to upload to the Arduino uh, Pro Micro doesn't allow you to specify which pin is uh, clock. So it uses the internal clock of the Arduino, which is pin 15. So it does need to be 15. Uh, then uh, latch and uh, serial, we can actually uh, select which pins we are. But since we have to mm, do 15, I just decided to put them right next to them. So uh, latch is pin 14, which is this one here. And then the two serial data, which do have to be independent uh, pins. I just did uh, pin 16 for the right one and pin 10 for the left one. It Again, it doesn't matter which one uh, you do. So it, it could be uh, the other way around. Um, this is kind of a schematic. So let me show you what I did uh, in order to get all these pins together. As you can see, as I mentioned, uh, we have VCC and ground together and we have clock and latch together. And you can, of course, piggy tail that, but that's going to be uh, a little bit. I mean, you could do it, but it's it's I, I prefer to do it. Uh, if you remember, I did it like with something like this. As I mentioned in the previous video, all these rows are connected together. So whatever I connect to this pin here is going to be connected to all these pins. Uh, and same here for each same same for each uh, row. Right. So what's that's what we did. We did kind of a power rail uh, piece of uh, breadboard. So uh basically what i was explaining before uh it's essentially this so this square here kind of represents that and it's not a draw here but all these rows are connected together so basically what i did is connect a line from ground and bcc to uh first row and last row and just to avoid um shorts I just like to put them apart. You can do whatever order you want if you're careful. So you could have BCC and ground together. I just like to have them apart. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I, I took a line from the Arduino from ground to the first row. Then I used 
I actually don't remember if I use this order. Yeah, that's the same order. Okay, so uh, latch, which is pin 14, goes to the second row from the Arduino. And then uh, clock, which is pin 15, goes to the third row. And then BCC goes to the fourth row. And then I have more pins for each of them to connect. Uh, so ground goes again to another uh, column of this, uh, of this uh, kind of... Uh, uh, breadboard. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is that you will need uh, at least one more row for uh, BCC and ground for the screen, for the TDU section, and at least one more row. So I would say the very minimum pins that you need are uh, five, because you're going to use one for the Arduino and one for each grip now, and then you're going to use one BCC and one ground from the screen, and one more ground from the screen as well. Uh, we'll see that in future video. Just, just don't don't be short of pins. Make sure you have enough. It's fine if you have leftovers. I will have leftovers. I have I did plenty of them. So for the middle ones, for um, clock and latch, you only need the three that we used already, and I already have uh, leftovers. I'm not going to be using this, but that's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, that's for shift registers. Essentially for um, port, uh, port expanders, it's going to be the same. Uh, let me show you the diagram here. Uh, instead of five wires, you're going to have uh, four of them. So you're going to have, again, ground and BCC. And then yellow here is SDA, so, or data, which goes to pin number two, and SCL, uh, or clock, which goes to pin number three. This is I2C connection. So these two pins are the defined ones uh, in the Arduino Pro Micro. You cannot use any others. So that's why we are going to use kind of different software uh, to load one or the other. And we are going to be needing the rest of the pins. So for, for, the, for the screen, for the TDU part, we are going to be using the rest of the pins. So that's why you need to make sure uh, whether you choose uh, shift registers or port expanders that you connect them to the proper uh, pins. Again, with uh, port expanders, you can also daisy chain, well, you have to daisy chain uh, all the clocks and all the data together, uh, as well as uh, BCC and ground. So you can still use the same uh, contraption that I used here instead of, in this case, the white is latch and in this case, uh, blue is, well, actually, it's clock, it's the same. So uh, one of them would be SDA, one of them would be uh, SCL. So you would connect. Uh, I, I don't have a diagram, but imagine this was uh, this was um, a port expander. You would ignore. You wouldn't have the yellow ones, so you would only have the blue and white. You can then connect them together the same way. So instead of 15 and 14, this would go to to uh, uh, three for clock and two for data. But it's exactly the same. So. And again, you will still need uh, a couple more BCC and grounds uh, in this in this board. So yeah, I hope that makes it clear. But in case it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. I do read and answer all of them. Fortunately, I'm not big, not that big to not be able to uh, reply to you guys. So if you have any questions or any doubts, just uh, let me know. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and have a good day.